Today we are back with another big PSA return and as always we have some incredible cards. I feel like I say this every time but every time it seems to get that little bit better. So guys sit down get comfortable because we're going to get straight into it. We are starting off with some value returns here for Sam from Chibi Collectibles starting off with some wise cards. We're starting off with a PSA 10 there. Now these are not my area of expertise but this just looks like an incredible card so I think Sam's going to be happy with that one. We have then got the Rayquaza a GX, the Hidden Fates promo in a PSA 9. And do remember, guys, as we're going through these, let me know what your favorite cards are. The Pikachu and Zekrom, that is a beautiful card. They're coming back in a PSA 10 as well. Nice Tim promo. We have then got the Raichu and Alolan Raichu from Unified Minds here, that full art in a PSA 10. Sam seeming to stack up the incredible grades straight from the outset. We then get Cynthia and Caitlin here. Cosmic Eclipse in a PSA 10. Beautiful card. Oh, lots of full art trainers here. Mallow and Lana PSA 10 from Cosmic Eclipse. Now with Cosmic, I feel like the full art trainers are not the easiest cards to pull. So nice to see those coming back in 10s. We have then got the full art Mars. This is from Ultra Prism in a PSA 10. That sun and moon texture looking very nice. Nice. Oh, we've then got the Mew and Mewtwo promo here in a PSA 10. Let me know what you think of this card. This is beautiful. And these are cards that we haven't really had back on the PSA submissions before. So again, seeing all of these in 10s is crazy. We got the Greninja and Zoroark here. Full art from Unbroken Bonds in a PSA 10. We've then got the Silverly GX from Cosmic Eclipse in a PSA 10. Sam, I feel like it's pretty much all 10s today. We've then got the Celebi and Venusaur. This is again another promo here in a PSA 10. We've got the Gardevoir and Sylveon from Unbroken Bonds. Full Art GX, really beautiful card. Coming back a PSA 9, still a great grade. We've then got the Alterna Art Leafeon from Evolving Skies. We're loving Evolving Skies at the moment. It's such a popular set right now. The prices are crazy, which is absolutely wild because I feel like we're all pulling these Alterna Arts left, right and center at the moment. We've got the VMAX there in the PSA 10. And then we're ending with another wise card here in a PSA 10. No idea what it means, but Sam, hopefully this is a good one and hopefully you're pleased with it. We got some more value cards now. This time it is some of my cards and we're starting off with this Yan Mega from Pop Series 8 coming back a PSA 9. Super, super nice card. Happy with the grade on that. We have then got some fourth print cards coming up now. So fourth print base set, you guys might remember I did a fourth print box break back in August with Whatnot, which was super fun. Um, so this is kind of a bit of a flashback to that. So we got the Dratini there in a PSA 9 and you can see now that PSA defines this on the label, 1999 to 2000. We've then got the Charmeleon here in a PSA 10. Very nice. Another Charmeleon in a PSA 10. All of these with that fourth print label. Charmander PSA 10 as well. Another Charmander PSA 10. It's a PSA 10 strong heavy return. A third PSA 10 there on the Charmander. And a fourth PSA 10 there on the Charmander. Very happy with that. We're then going in with the Growlithe again. Base set fourth print PSA 10. And then we have got the Mewtwo V promo. This is the ETB promo from Pokemon Go that came out earlier this year. This is coming back in a PSA 10. We have then got the Alterna R Mew V Max from Fusion Strike. I love this card. Do you know what? I give Fusion Strike a hard time. It's not one of my favorite sets, but it has some incredible all arts. I feel like we don't give it enough, uh, enough justice. So there we go in a PSA 10. Very nice. We've then got the Radiant EV. Now this is the promo from the Radiant EV collection box that came out also with Pokemon Go earlier this year. Coming back a PSA 9. We've then got the Charizard Hollow from Pokemon Go coming back a PSA 9. The Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go also coming back in a PSA 9. A Radiant Blastoise from Pokemon Go. All 9s on Pokemon Go this time for me. PSA 9. And then we have got a first edition Espeon from Neo Discovery. Beautiful card. Love the artwork in a PSA 10. Very happy with that one. And then we have got Machamp here in a PSA 8. Next up, we have got Astro Greg with some value returns here. And we're starting off with the first edition Dark Charizard in a PSA 9. Now, if I don't stand corrected here, I pulled this one for Greg, I believe. 
I'm pretty sure I pulled this for Greg from one of the first dead, either box breaks or one of the just the packs we opened in the background one time. Maybe I'm making that up, but I'm sure I pulled this for Greg. So coming back a PSA 9, happy with that. We have then got the base set Gyarados. I definitely pulled this one for Greg, coming back a PSA 9, very nice. We have then got the Fossil Kabutops here, coming back a PSA 10. This is the non-holo. I have a feeling I pulled Greg all of these cards. Maybe not all of them, but definitely most of them. We have then got the first edition Grimer, the non-grimy Grimer in a PSA 10. And then we have got the Jungle Jolteon here in a PSA 8. Very nice. Followed by the Fossil Psyduck in a PSA 9. Greg, congrats. I'm definitely going to say I pulled at least three or four of those cards. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's where my mind's going with that. So Greg, some more value returns for you. Now, this is an express return for Clay. I actually pulled this card for Clay on the channel, and the reason I'm covering it, because I just want to build a little bit of suspense for this one, um, it's the second time we've pulled the Stormfront Charizard here on the channel, which is crazy. Um, there's obviously three secret rares in the set, Charizard being one of them. So the fact we've pulled this one twice is kind of mind-blowing. Um, and I will never forget either time that I've pulled these. And for Clay, the Stormfront Zard is back, and the grade is a PSA 9. Super happy with that. Clay, I know you're going to be happy with this one as well. Congratulations. It's such a beautiful card. And like I said, we have been so, so lucky to witness it being pulled live twice as well on the channel. So there we go. The Stormfront Zard in a PSA 9 for Clay. And then we have got some express returns here for Terry. Some very, very big cards here, guys. We are definitely going out with a bang. So we're starting off with the Championship Arena. I don't think I'm ever going to submit this card for anyone or myself ever again. Super rare card. It has come back a PSA 9. So Terry, congrats on that. Beautiful card. Incredible grade as well. We have then got Giovanni's Scheme in a PSA 10. Now, you guys might remember these cards from the submission mission video I did not too long ago. This coming back a PSA 10 is huge. This is an incredible card. This comes in the Team Rocket briefcase. I actually used to have one on my backdrop. I don't have one handy right now, um, but I'm sure most of you will know what I'm talking about. So this is one of the promos that comes inside and it's hit a 10. I know my friend Laura, shout out Don Diego, absolutely loves this card. Um, so yeah, coming back a 10 for Terry. Massive, massive congrats. We have then got... Oh my goodness, another PSA 10. Again, the second promo that comes in the Team Rocket case. It says on the label, Team Rocket special case. It's the black briefcase. Um, another PSA 10. Terry, massive congrats. Two incredible cards there, seriously. And then we have got the Gold Star Umbreon from Pop Series 5 in a PSA 9. I just feel spoiled being able to submit some of these cards to you guys show them off on the channel when they come back so thank you guys if you haven't already be sure to hit that like button and i will see you again next time